Hello, Goranges are on view, this time for our sale on the 7th of August. Where did the year go? Where did summer go? Who knows? Anyway, we're down in the warehouse. This is the side that Paul always says is never very good. It's like the cursed side, but not today, because there's all sorts of goodies. Uh, let's start with lot 133. How about that? One of these big cast iron, 19th century, probably French crosses on a, a base, so it will self-support. Uh, Certainly weighs enough, yes. that's for sure. Good size. Yeah, nice. uh, let's go down the aisles and see what we can see. Now, it's a big leather sofas there. Yes. Um, not necessarily the most commercial of items, but there <laughs> we are. Um, some galvanised buckets with drainers. Unusual pair of lamps. Look at those with the elephants. Lot 54. Huh. Um, and then, and then there's, a, a there's a smaller caparisoned elephant, I think, showing at the back there. Oh, well, they're quite stylish, aren't yes, they? Even very... even the finials at the top are elephants. Look, if I spin that around. Yeah, very smart. You see, it's got little tucks and things. Mm. Oh, that has got a chip. Anyway, nice. there we are. Uh, what looks like a rather good lot of mixed cushions here. Yeah. Can we see a lot number? That would be too easy. That would be too I'll easy. Find we'll find it if it's in the sale. Yes. It might be waiting sale, yes. but I think it's in. Um, otherwise, oh, a harmonium still here. I think we're waiting for that one to be collected and That's go a, away. A fancy mirror. Yes, now this is a, a, what we might call all show and not Never so go. much go. <laughs> so from a distance it looks very fancy, but actually it's, re it's, it's really very modern and it's sort of cast out of a sort of resonated composition-like material. Right. Um, looking at the back always gives them away, if you can't tell from the front, this sort of typical but construction. But it still has but a good look. And it weighs a ton. Yes. Uh, it's lot 12, it won't be expensive, so it's good value yeah. if, uh, if that's what you're after. Uh, some nice tables, this is quite a good one, isn't it? That's quite a good one, I think the lot number's the other side. We'll I like the underneath. Yeah. That is lot 62. Mm, very smart. Yeah, unusual stretcher. Yes, I was just looking at that. Down yes. the bottom, so it's not English, that's for sure. No. Uh, it looks like it's made of walnut or similar. Mm. Quite a smart table, yes, as it you is. say. Yeah. A pillar chest here. It's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. It's a seven drawer, so sort of Wellington chests get called it, or Semaniers, or what have you. Uh, it's not particularly old, but it's it's reasonably well made. It's quite nicely made with these recessed nice handles, a bit like a sort of ship's chest or something. Mm. Lot 38. There's some jazzy old fabric for you. Look at that, yes. the fleur de lis, sort of beautifully aged, isn't it? Yes. Um, sort of thing you'd see in a pig hotel or something along those <laughs> Do lines. Do you think so? It? Yeah, probably. Well, it didn't sell I'm not sure it's that comfortable. It's not that comfortable. I don't know. I don't think it's for comfort. Yes. A um, bit of secessionist or Art Nouveau here. We, we spot this inlay and these nice hinges, and we yes. think, well, that looks hinges good, aren't half they? interesting. Yes. Um, oh, a sort of music, shelved for sheet music inside. Yeah. Um, do these open? Oh, they're opened at the sides. At the they're side. sort of for bookcases and yeah. books and things. So mm. there we go, that's quite fun. That's lot 22. Then I'm seeing sort of pairs of chests of drawers, yes. um, wine racks, uh, an assortment of somewhere to put your children and grandchildren there. <laughs> Look at that state of the art. Oh my gosh. The baby scooter. Um, and then with it, it looks like you've got this sort of chair on wheels and uh, as well as a sort of metamorphic high chair so it's a curious mixture there but I want to go around here past this bath that's uh, a bath it's a bath and you can you can be steamed in it can't you oh wow no you're not keen on that okay no. I can't see a lot number but anyway that's uh, more curtains line, lot one and six. It's, it, it's a re-offer it was in at 250 which is a bit punchy interesting stem interesting um, feet had some repairs and a bit lightweight, but uh, yeah, interesting stone, rather thin top. Yeah. HMV gramophone next to it, one of these classic ones that uh, closes up, doesn't look much from the outside, but you look on the inside and uh, there's Nipper the dog. Ah. It's got its crank handle, so it may well be fully operational. Uh, some big showy armchairs. Yes, they are very. They are big, aren't they? They are big, yeah, they're all Good soft. size. Now, particularly nice quality garden suite here, lot 77. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? With you, a bench you, you one get side. You bench, and then you get a smaller bench the other side. No, two no, chairs. two chairs. So two chairs. Four chairs and a bench. Yes. And a table with an octagonal and top a, that's and fixed. And a then nice a very parasol. generous parasol to keep, keep the rain dry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> God. Fine on this weather. Oh, look at what this. Oh, this. This looks very unsafe to bed. Look at its feet. It is an absolute Crikey. whopper, isn't it? So it almost needs to freeze down because if you back that to the yeah, wall, you, it does, uh, you'll have uh, over a foot between yeah. the wall and the, 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 the innie, so you'd have a bit of a sort so of So I would say that that, is that Super King or King? King. That is 
at least king. Yeah. I can see sort of two what single mattresses inside it. Yes. Lot numbers on the other side, I'm afraid. Oh, two single mattresses means super king. Yeah, well, there we go then. Yeah. Right. Um, Gosh, that is. I wonder where that yeah, came from. Um, oh, and then, gosh, here. another Look, big bed. Big show one. Wow, uh, yeah, the grass, that sort of. This is lot. Gosh, that's 81. nice. And it's arm framed. It's got the double divans underneath it. Quite low off the ground, but then I guess you put your big fat mattress on. Yes, exactly. Brings you up a bit. Yes. Uh, the other one. Lot 79. Oh, uh, yeah, absolute look. Monster of a sort of sleigh type bed. Can you imagine yes, them new? Big. They'd be an absolute fortune, wouldn't yes, they? Yes, they would. Very much so. So, anyway, carrying on round here. Not a bad dresser, this, but it looks things look one, two, four. Nice colour. Yes, very nice colour. Uh, next to it, a reasonably smart break front bookcase. Yep. Sort of William the Fourthy, early Victorian, lot one, two, five. Mm. Nice grandmother oh, type nice clock, size. 127. Lovely Walnut wood. case, not yeah. a particularly old case, but lovely wood, as you say, with an earlier movement within it, or certainly an earlier dial. Lovely. And then back here, here's something different. Look, 128, a pair of <laughs> wing armchairs on steroids. You or... see, that, that looks to me like it should be in a gentleman's club well, or something. Yeah, I think that's the thing, isn't it? They're yes. not quite porter's chairs, because a porter's chair is deeper and, and has an arch top, but right. you're completely enclosed. Yeah. These are just sort of... For people with elaborate hairdos or very tall people, lot 128. Yes. Nice garden bench here. Yes, you don't just, see this model so often. Yeah. Lot 93, that's mm. that sort of Regency style. It's yes. not period, but it's Regency style. Um, and then rounding off, what have we got? Nice big wardrobe here, look at this, 132. Very smart. Flame mahogany. Got some garden urns. Always got some garden urns, haven't we? Yes, we and, do. And uh, got some nice benches here. Look at these sort of settled benches with individual lift up seats lot yes. 90 yeah. another sort of semi-military style chest that's a jiggy got recessed handles lot 89 mm. and then uh, all sorts of other splendors within so do come and look at the warehouse yes and uh, we're going to look at the small so here we are in amongst the smalls uh, what catches my eye well you may have seen i think it was christie's had a masterpiece sale and they sold an early roman table for three hundred thousand pounds <laughs> and it had very similar legs to these but these will not be so expensive oh what a shame this is lot 290 and they're beautifully cast from resin so what they do is they grind up marble powder and they, they mix it in with the resin and then you actually can get some pretty good casting um, with fair amount of detail it also looks old and it does you, and all sorts of people do it the British Museum do it you can buy them in the British from the British Museum shop things yeah. things of that ilk so these I imagine were table legs probably had a glass top right uh, you could make what you will of them lot 290 a lot less money 292 classic look as soon as we see this green and brown with these lovely hops we know it's rye pottery ah. and there's a lovely big we can see rye down there 1903 um good size jardinier lost a lost a hop there and a few little emissions elsewhere Pretty. and with it it's bigger friend look yeah, at that that's even great, isn't it? even larger again all inscribed to the bottom 1901 that one Sussex ware, they said. Rye Sussex ware. Lovely thing. Quite yes. collectible. Good size. Uh, so, nice lot, that. We're off to a good start, I'm thinking, but let's yes. see how we carry on. Glasses, 264. That looks Dutch to me. Maybe it's Silesian. I'm sure Dan will have said. Mm. But finely engraved. Pretty. Looks to be late 18th, so 19th century. There's another, perhaps a little bit later in date. Look at the lightning strikes coming down towards the fallen hearts, I believe. That's great fun, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, no. And an inscription on the back in um, German. So that's those. Onwards, reversing backwards. Um, there's some wood carvings in here, not a great age, but things like these angels, 297. Yes. A uh, whopping great. Oh, oh, there we go, it's not chipped. Oh. We, we look at these, we know it from this colour. Yes. Uh, this is Royal um, Copenhagen, uh, a particularly large vase dated 1938, I think we say, based on that. It's lot 300, mm. particularly large example. Yes. And then beyond it is lot 298. Yeah. Oh, gosh, this, I thought you were... This is Bermontoff's. Did you think they were all I, I did, yeah. yeah. This is Bermontoff's. That's brilliant. It's, people like Christopher Dresser designed for Bermontoff's, but I don't think this is a Dresser model, but it's, it's kind of fun, isn't it's it? It's great fun. And again, Would nicely marked Would you say that they're your vases? Or? Yeah, they're vases. It's very much sort of arts and craftsy Gosh, like influence. Yep, yeah, 298. That's great. Nice colour as well, yes, isn't it? Yes, lovely colour. From the same collection, a pair of wrought iron sort of candlestick type things. Yes. 
uh, candelabra uh, from a different collection and of a different nature. These sort of memento mori panels, lot 658, mm. two in the lot, yep. painted metal. Yes. Uh, you're saying that sort of mm, move on sort of noise. Well, no, not really. Right, I just each to their own, isn't interested. it? 275 crown pottery. It's a studio pottery plate. Someone's suggesting it might be by Harry Davis we see there. A um, bit of taxidermy. Mm. Mm. Um, more Copenhagen. I think there's quite a quantity of Copenhagen animals scattered throughout the sale. Do you know, around. we've gone yeah. long and I didn't really look up. It, it, was there any art there that's... I would rather do art that's over here, I think, okay. than over there. But the, but the art over there, I'm sure, is good. Yes. Uh, more figures, sort of ladder type. Look at this, a, a pack of dogs. Aww. We're doing a similar thing here at Florence. Yes, Florence's, we are. But, yes. Um, really nice lot. Copenhagen, look at the bloodhound. I mean, look, he's a oh, great he's big absentee. fellow, isn't he? Good yes. size. Um, so a good lot of dogs <laughs> there. Look at the expression yes. on him. Looks a bit fed up, doesn't he? Oh, bit gosh, of bulldog. Just get on with it. Yes, so uh, in the art, well, decorative prints and decorative panels. Um, there's some whiskies scattered throughout the sale and other wines and spirits. Is that a bit of liberty there? Or? Yes, of course it is. Look, 347, that classic model. It's very classic, isn't it, that one? Uh, Tudric, that. yeah, Tudric, Pewter, and then with it... This one is not Liberty. This is somebody else, but of the same era, and they're yes. sort of trying to do something yeah. a bit arts and craftsy. So there we go. Yep, something well spotted, something a bit different there. Uh, here's something different. 353. Yes. yes. Wow. So yes, you get wow. those sort of rather sensual um, candlesticks with oh. slightly broken vases. Mm. A pair of those. Yeah. Not both broken, I believe. And then a very stylish. That's the word for it, Toucan. He's quite a fellow, isn't he? He's rather fun. He's kind of fun, isn't yeah. he? Yeah, so like there him. we go, 353. Um, I'm going round, past the pheasant, past the dog and figures. A an original Medigliani here. Uh, no, it's not. There are a number of sort of repro oils here, um, saving you a fortune. Instead of the 30 million you'd have to pay, uh, probably about 100, 150 pounds. I think you're going to say 150,000. No, no, less than that. So not 692, <laughs> unless it's a sleeper, of course, and we've missed it. It seems, seems unlikely, though. Uh, down below, it's some geodes. Look at those, very colourful. Aren't they? Do you think they're stained? Or are they I always think they're like stained. That? They're a remarkable colour, not, not 404. Yes. Not that we know, but no. that doesn't stop us. Um, quite a lot of modern sort of... Decorative and are, designer ornaments in glass big. and metal and big and showy. Yes, yes, they obviously come from some interesting location. Yeah. Uh, I'm seeing more of it down here. Large quantity of Wisdom Cricketer's Almanacs there. More Ladro Copenhagen. Japanese woodblock prints. A group of table lamps with varying description. I'm going to go around the back. You can hear me still. Over the back here, Some good glasses. collection of glass, all catalogued, Dan will have checked that all through. We've got um, some earlier Dalton figures, we talked about those a week or two ago. Got a nice Delft drug jar there, Spector, lot 444, the wet drug jar with this little spout here, like that. Very good um, stuff. Some Staffordshire animals. Those are quite fun, I they're quite like fun. Those. They're not particularly old examples, I have to say. They look like um, more repro there. Nice lot of modern Nalik. So this is lot 452 with the birds and the frosting and the fruit. Yes. Um, and then spaced away another one there. This Again, we see that one quite commonly. A little less common is 456 showing there. Mm. Uh, nice little pistol here, lot 460. Flintlock. It's got its flint. Ready to go, signed by Lawrence. Not elaborate, but pleasingly straightforward. And then down below here, I'm seeing some more, such as lot 457. Now, I'm not that sure what's going on there. That's very unusual. It's percussion. <laughs> the percussion cap goes there, so it fires from underneath. It almost feels like a sort of homemade or blacksmith made, Excuse maybe me. poacher's I'll tell you gun. What, I'll tell you what that is if you want. Yes, sir. Fire away. I'm 99%. So that's lot 457. The suggestion is, from one of our wise viewers, uh, that it is for a walking stick handle. Uh, that it was sat like that. But we haven't quite accounted for disguising that lot or how it locks on. But there's a good suggestion. 457 comes with two box lock pocket pistols. 
box lock because it's shaped like a box. Um, again, percussion pistols. So there we go, 457. Semi mystery lot. I can see lighters, beads, good lot of silver. Roger's been busy. Let's pull those up. How about those? Lot 837. Not old, but cast silver. How do we know they're cast? Well, this, this sort of texturing underneath is, yes. is what one gets from casting. And then there'll also be a hint of a seam where the, the, side, the stem has been joined. Um, hallmarked underneath to the base. Super so shiny. Queen Elizabeth II, I would say, period. Not a, a good weight to them, which often comes with um, being from cast silver. There's quite the opposite. These are very lightweight, lot um, 833, pair of them. Doesn't look like they should be. They look These are foreign white metal, I suggest. Uh, yes, they are. They've got sort of some marks, but they're not English hall marks. I think it includes 925. Uh, they'd need some very substantial candles if you were going to put candles in them. They would, wouldn't they? But again, they're kind of fun. No, they go all the way down yeah. as well. Oh, and I they see. tie in with some of the other sort of decorative very smart. we have. This looks older. 836 looks to me to be a classic George III basket, cake basket, they're sometimes called bread basket. I'm sure they use them for whatever they wanted the basket to do. Uh, marks are down here, at least some of them. You can just see them down there hidden by the handle. So George III, quite nicely made, a little yeah. bit roughed up down the base. Um, furthermore, I can see knives, I can see cigar cases, there's a pair of pheasants. Quite a nice tea caddy, so uh, a good selection of silver there. And then, of course, hidden away, locked in the stronger because Roger's away on holiday, and therefore we, or have we just locked him in? <laughs> I'm not sure. Either oh. way, <laughs> selection of jewelry as well for you to uh, feast your eyes on. So there we go. Come along, have a look. It's all good here. It'll be August. Uh, how exciting! In ashes are over, and um, yes. we're all in ashes because of the weather. But there we are. Uh, thank you very much for watching.